Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, this is part 12 of our RPG series. I think this might actually be our last episode. Um, but in today's series or episode, sorry, we're going to just fix up a bunch of things and kind of clean up the game a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is, I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but in order for us to be able to change direction while clicking, we just copy paste that, the direction part. And we're going to put that right after the direction as soon as we update it. And then um, we can actually take this out and then just do this. No, actually, we can just take that out and then go to the direction variable, direction, and remove that. And now if I play, it'll constantly update depending on where my mouse is. So I'll always be moving towards my mouse. Awesome. Um, next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to change up the spawning. So I'm going to create a input map for that. So for spawn, yeah, I deleted it. So we're going to make a new one, um, spawn. And then in here, I'm going to pick a physical key that I'm going to want. Um, I'll, do, I'll do space. Space is fine. And then what we'll do is in here, we're going to check for if space is clicked. So I'm just going to copy paste this. Um, spawn, and then if it is, what we'll do is um, spawn zombie. It'll be that little function. And then we'll go down and create that function because it doesn't exist. And what I'm going to do is actually very easy. I'm going to actually just copy paste all this. And move that out. I still want the timer to go off. Um, because that's how I get mana. But basically, this is how we're going to be spawning things now. So we're going to use a, we're not going to spawn anything until I click it. There we go. So now I have a bunch. Um, the only thing is, it doesn't take mana. So um, we're going to check if we have mana. So we want to spawn. Um, no, we're not going to do it there. We're going to do it in here. So. If game dot um, player MP bigger than bigger than zero, let's do um, bigger than or equal to one, and then yeah, and then in here what we'll do is copy paste that, and we're gonna subtract one every time I spawn one, and so I'm gonna do the same thing for each of these. I'm going to add a mana cost, essentially, to each one. So this one, I'll do five. And then this one, same thing, five. And then down here, um, do five, or we'll do this one to be 10. Um, but up here, we want it to be on the same level. And we're also going to add the mana. So if you ever want to tab out a bunch of things, you can actually select several lines and then hit tab and it'll tab it out. Um, so yeah, we're going to check if we have 10 mana and then spawn. Um, yeah. I'm not, uh, what we'll do is, this is going to bring up a problem. We'll check if player and P is greater than zero. If it is, then we'll do this, all this. Um, this will bring up a few issues, but for now, this is fine. This will work. Um, now, whenever I play, I spawn stuff. It costs one mana every time, but that is it. I can only spawn up to like 10. Now, I want to play our animation whenever I do spawn something. So player dot play spawn. Now let's see if that works, just out of curiosity. It does not. And there is a reason for that. Ooh. OK. Um, there's a reason our game is being a little buggy. Um, basically, what we're doing is if I click, I want to play walk. But then I'm trying to play spawn at the same time if I click. Um, we're also playing idle in our physics process. So what we want to do 
is check if if we're gonna be playing something or not. So what, the way we can do that is I'm actually going to change this back to ten because um, I like ten more. All right. So what we can do is basically check if we're playing something or not. So if player dot animation is equal to spawn. What we'll do is um, not equal. Then we can play idle. And then the same thing for the walk. And now, every time I click space, it does that. However, it's stuck in a loop. So one thing we can do, oh, one thing we can do is turn the loop off. So it'll play it once. And that's it. Now it's in zero frames. Um, so what we want to do is animation finished, collect, connect it. And then if, oh, well, we can actually just copy paste that, um, except we want to check if it is playing spawn. So equal, equal spawn. Then we'll get our player and play idle. Um, and that's it. All right, so now every time I spawn, it spawns something, and then goes back into the idle animation. And now if I'm walking, I can also spawn at the same time, and then it'll be done. Um, another thing we can add, though, is if, where is it? Um, basically, we want, we want to check if we're moving or not. So um, to do that, we can do if follow cursor equals true. I will just do false. No, well, I will do true, actually. Um, player dot play walk else then we'll play item so basically every time we finish spawning we want to check if we're walking or not right because if i'm walking and i'm spawning something i want to start walking again however if i'm not moving and i spawn something i want to go back into the idle animation right so now i can spawn a bunch of monsters and it kind of repeats um one thing let me double check that it does do this Yeah, so OK, it does work properly. Um, I think it, this Godot used to have this issue where if you were in the, I think animated sprite works fine. But basically, the issue was um, if I click space and then I try to click it in the middle of it, it would replay the animation and it, it would interrupt the animation. So animated sprite is fine. Uh, if you have an animation player, um, that might cause some bugs. but what you can do if you do have that in the future, for example, like play spawn, what you can do is you can check like if it's playing it already. So if, ooh, no, you can't do that with animated sprite because animated sprite doesn't have that function. But animation player has this, um, it has a uh, Boolean where you can check if something is currently playing, right? It's it's dot current animation. So if you can, if you check, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of write it out what it looks like. So if player dot current animation is equal to spawn, then don't play spawn or something like that. So it looks like current animation, but um, animated sprite does not have that function, but animated animation player does, animated player, this one. Um, so it just depends on what you're using. But keep in mind, each one of these has its ups and downs. I like animated sprite, it's really, useful, um, but it does have limits. I think animated player is definitely more flexible, but for the sake of our game, this is fine. Um, next thing we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna go into our friendly zombie and in our direction, we're gonna actually copy over something that we're doing similar to the player. So in direction, where is it? Where did I put it? We're gonna check if the direction is proper or not. So in our zombie, we're going to do this. And now, ah, uh, we do not have player uh, variable. Um, we'll do monster equals animated. No, OK, I have to open up. Yeah, animated start. There it is. OK, now let's try it. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? On ready. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that. 
on ready variable monster whatever okay there we go now whenever i spawn it'll turn depending on where it is it's very slight but um it does make the game feel a bit more real um now we want to do the same thing for the hostile actually so let's copy this over go to the hostile go to the top that in friendly copy over the direction hostile zombie and we'll copy paste that in all right so now our friendly zombies and our hostile zombies also do that um one more thing i think i wanted to add now you know what i think that was it um one thing you can do is for direction we can actually put this out here hopefully this doesn't error and basically it'll always follow the no it does not okay hold on um get global mouse position does it only do that if i click it position let's by doing this, I just want to test this. It should work. Interesting. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see the problem. Okay, so we can take all that and print it outside the follow cursor. So, what's going on here? Um. There we go. Okay. So now our player will follow our mouse, even if we're clicking or not. So now it actually feels like a proper game. And it feels kind of real, which is nice. Um, there was one other issue. We can still hit the monsters, even when they're dying. So fix that. Open up our hostile zombie. And what we'll do is um in here get node this is when they're dead um what we'll do is self dot elision layer dot one is that how you do that let me nope that's not how you do it okay let me just double check this real quick Ah, uh, here we go. Self dot set collision layer bit one equals false. Do that. No. Let me double check. Let me find this function in Godot. Godot. Set function. Ah, yes, okay. That's what I was thinking. So we'll do it here like this. Will it error? No, okay. Nice. Now what we can do is set both of them to false. Let's double check that this works. Someone to spawn. Okay, so it still doesn't work. Um, I think I also have to do the set. Collision mask bit false as well. Oh, okay, that didn't help me test anything. Let me let me try one more time. Ah, but it saves the mana, so that's kind of funny. Okay, that's very strange. That should work. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't, but anyways, that's 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 okay. Um, that's good for today's video. Um, there's a better way to fix this, but I won't go into it. Um, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.